I don't really know what to think about this, you guys. My name is Hector. This is Everything Horror, where we talk about everything horror. Today, we are going to talk about the new trailer for Black Christmas. And we're talking about the new remake. No, not the, the remake that happened in uh, 2004 that I never saw. I think it was 2004, 5, 6, one of those uh, that I never saw. Uh, we're going to be talking about a new Black Christmas that is being remade and is releasing uh, this December. It is from Blumhouse Productions, um, you know, from the makers of Get Out and uh, Truth or Dare, <laughs> among other things. Um, they're giving us Black Christmas, and I just saw the new trailer that they released, and um, I have some mixed feelings, but um, they're mostly negative. <laughs> now, I've seen the original Black Christmas, and... I really enjoy that movie. I love the mood, the setting, and it's one of the first slasher movies ever made. And I love whodunit movies, and that is why I didn't really like the vibe of this trailer. It is not a whodunit. Uh, not only that, um, they show the twist <laughs> in the trailer. Uh, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, let's start off with some positives. I like the way it looks. Um, there's some pretty good shots in the trailer. Um, the snow angel shot comes to mind. It has that clean, crisp look that a lot of movies are coming out with nowadays. There's only uh, two actors that I recognize. There's one that I remember from the green room. She seems to to appear as the main character of this film. That actress, I'm not even going to try to say her name. She is very good. I really liked her in the green room. She gave a really good performance. And then everyone else, aside from Carrie, I, I don't recognize. Now, another positive is the song choices. I really like the choices that they made and the little mixes or versions that they did for the trailer. There's one song that really reminded me a lot of the Midsommar trailer. Um, it had that, you know, creepy violins. All we needed to hear was that, you know, the breath. <gasps> You know that <laughs> that's all it needed and it would have been pretty much the same song from Miss Omar now other than that um, those are the positives um, the rest is just negatives I don't really like the way the killer or the killers look just the aesthetic or the, the costume that they're wearing I don't like it <laughs> I just don't like it at all it's too dark um, you can't really tell what you're looking at. Um, and it's not very menacing. At least I don't... From the trailer, it just doesn't look menacing at all. And then, they took all the mystery out of the film. I don't know what the heck they were thinking. I, I just don't get it. Why would you show the twist in your movie? Why are you going to have Carrie spitting dialogue, looking like the main villain of the film and then show that he's actually the main villain and as a cult at the college I, I just don't understand what possessed them I don't know if they're not confident in the movie um, maybe they're they're trying to say hey it's not you know a, a spitting um, remake of the original Black Christmas you know this is a little different this is a lot different and you might as well have made it an entirely different movie. Just name it something else. Don't have the IP of Black Christmas on it because it is very, very different. First Black Christmas was one killer. Um, there is no no knowledge of a cult, nothing like that. If they wanted to do something in that vein, maybe they should have did a sequel. Maybe they should have did something in regards to um, the cult is copycatting the murders of 
you know, some college students from years back as a part of their cult, and they worship whoever the killer was from the original film. That would have been more of a that would have been more of a, an intriguing plot, and it would be a sequel. But uh, I just don't understand why they would go in this route. It, it doesn't make any sense to me. And if you're gonna go in this route. Why are you going to to show it in the trailer? Why are you going to reveal it in the trailer? It doesn't make any sense. Reveal it in the movie. It would have been more intriguing in the trailer. They actually take down one of the, the killers. And it turns out it's like a statue or something. I don't know. It was very weird. They should have just had that. And not mention anything about a cult. That would have been more intriguing. Like, wait, what the hell? Why is, why is it a statue? That would have made me be like, okay, let me check out this movie, because it seems pretty interesting. Looks like they're going in a different direction. Let's find out what's going on. But then they reveal <laughs> that it's a cult. Why? <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get why you would do that. Now there's going to be a lot of people that are like, I've seen the movie. I don't need to watch the movie, because they showed everything in the trailer. That's what I'm getting at. I was pretty excited to hear that they were going to be remaking Black Christmas, especially with Blumhouse behind it. They've been they've had a pretty good track record, but I just didn't like the way they went about in the direction for this remake uh, that's shown from the trailers. I just I don't care for it. Anyways, those are my thoughts on the Black Christmas remake trailer. What did you guys think? Uh, do you guys like the direction they're headed at, or um, did you not? Go ahead and comment below. Did you like my video? Please give me a like. I would greatly appreciate it. And uh, while you're there, subscribe. I greatly appreciate that. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, you guys. My name is Hector, and this is Everything Horror. Have a great rest of your day, peeps. Take care.